my school. Family, this is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, now wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, shake hands with a friend. Shake hands with a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school. Good morning, good morning. Today is Thursday, October the 17th. Welcome to Morning Announcements. Let's all take a deep breath in. <sighs> Smile, take a deep breath and relax. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the teachers, staff, and students yesterday. We had a great, great time at the Detroit Zoo. Had an opportunity to get outside the building and get some air and have an opportunity to hang out with some animals. I hope that you all had a great time. Thank you, teachers and parents for having such um, organization and working with your students as we all made it back safely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. High five, elbow touch, foot encounter. What are we doing? What are we doing? Get up and move a little bit. What are you going to work on today? What is your goals? Our homework, listening to one another, taking deep breaths, using kind words. What is your commitment for today? All right. Each of you all have core value rooms we all should be talking about what our core value rooms mean and living up to that. All right, all right, all right. Wishing each other well, our school family. Shout out to Miss E and Miss T's class. She's getting the whole school involved about sending a very positive message to those kids down south that are struggling with flood and the bad weather from the hurricane. That is what we do. We wish each other well. You don't realize how someone is struggling until you start looking at other people's lives. So thank you, thank you for that video. I look forward to that. But let's all find ways to wish each other well and send positive vibes this morning. Teachers and staff, I will develop and support my students to grow at MMA. Students, I can try and work hard to grow every day. Grow with us. All right, all right. Responsibility. All right, it is our responsibility to listen and follow directions. Overall, yesterday we had a really good time on the trip, but we did have people struggling at times. You need to follow directions. I had a couple people with cell phones out. I asked you several times to be responsible and put those away. So when we struggle, we need to think about why that is. We tell the truth. Um, we make sure that we communicate what is happening. If someone is bothering us, we let that person know, I don't like it. And then if they continue, 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 then you go tell the teacher. We're going to talk about using your big voice, but be responsible for your actions. All right. No one can make you angry. That means you can't get into an argument by yourself. If you say something, that person's going to say something back. So if you don't want anybody to say anything to you because you get upset easily or something goes on, take a deep breath and walk away from that conversation, especially for my older kids, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth grade. You guys struggle with this. Somebody's making me mad. No, no one can make you mad. You choose to be, you made a choice to be in that conversation. So when you do that, there is consequences on both ends and people feelings can get hurt. So take a deep breath and walk away and ask for help. All right, moving right along. MMA, maintain respect, make good choices and always be safe. We're still having a lot of issues in the bathroom. So today I will have coach come around and we're going to make sure that each, especially third through sixth grade, we're having issues with that bathroom. Third through sixth grade, you must have bathroom logs and you need to go ahead and take your collective bathroom breaks. We're not just going to let students go to the water fountain in the bathroom, in the bathroom. You guys got to come up with a system third through sixth grade. The kids are taking advantage of just going in the bathroom and they're playing around. They're not making good choices. So we're going to have to shut that down. You need a bathroom log. You need to have collective breaks. And then we're going to run the camera if we find things going on. And those students are going to be in a lot of trouble for not making good choices in the bathroom. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, do a better job. Kindergarten, first, and second graders, keep your kids on the other side of the hallway. As you know, we will be getting a new water fountain that will go on the kindergarten, first grade side. Until then, we can't keep sitting kids throughout the day through the entire day for water fountains. This is not working. 
They can fill up their water bottles in the morning. That's why we gave it to them. They need to put their names on them because they all look the same. And then that's it for the rest of the day. Um, unless you're coming from gym or from outside as a class, it's way too many kids leaving, going to the water fountain throughout the day. It's a huge distraction, teachers. So please have your bathroom logs ready. And if you're sending kids, the same old kids for water, because they're trying to avoid work and get out of class because they're not that thirsty, then we're going to have to have a conversation with the teacher and the teacher assistant. Keep your kid in the classroom with their work plans, learning and working in small groups. Work and they need to be on task. That is my preaching for today. I do not want to see kids back and forth at that water fountain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Outside for recess, make sure you clean up your equipment. And in the lunchroom, have a seat. Appreciate you and raise your hand. Today for lunch, you have pizza and salad. Um, again, thank you for the zoo yesterday. It was a beautiful day. Fourth through sixth graders, you need to turn in those permission slips. Today was the last day. We sent out reminders. I went class to class. Needed today. Teachers, if you can collect them and turn them into the front office, I will double check. All those names this afternoon, I really hope they have them or they cannot go. You need your permission slips. We leave on Monday. We leave on Monday to go camping. Trunk or Treat is next month, uh, two Mondays from now. We've already sent a note home. We'll send another dojo note home. Your parents can sign up to bring candy. We need candy donations. We need candy donations. Or they can set up for the Trunk or Treat. You can dress up. However, it cannot be a scary costume. And teachers, you cannot have any parties between 9 and 2. Please do not have any priorities between 9 and 2 on October 31st. Everything starts at 2 o'clock. All right, all right, all right. Parent-teacher conference is Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Teachers, you need to send your links out so parents can sign up to learn more about what's going on with their students in the classroom. Next Friday, October 25th, next Friday, there is no school for students for professional development for our amazing staff. Again, Students of the Month for September, congratulations. And the staff member, Ms. Charlene, happy, happy birthday. All right, read, read, read. I said every day you guys should be reading and you should be doing iReady. Your parents can come get a Chromebook. You guys can sign on to your iReady accounts at home. And we need to be practicing iReady 20 minutes a night for reading and math. Have a good day, everybody. Make some good choices. And again, Stay out of those hallways with the water fountains and water bottles. I do not want to see that. You can have them fill it up in the beginning of the day. That should last all day unless they're going coming from recess or coming from gym. We really need to get that water fountain under control. It's way too busy. And the teachers send one after another. So if we have a bunch of kids at the water fountain because they're so thirsty, we're going to bring them back to class and have a conversation with the teacher and the teacher aide that's in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.